Sharon and Sue cooking show mm -hmm. and today we're going to cook something called Jacob's Blind Chicken. Uh, it's kind of an unusual name, not many people have heard of it, but um, mm -hmm. I was very fortunate to live next door to some Danish friends who taught me how to make this dish. And it's delicious. I've tried it at home in England and it was a hit with my guests. And Sue's so going to we're both going to cook this dish together and we'll a little tell you the ingredients and we're just going to have a little drink first just get us in the mood mmm nice wine nice just white wine to go with the chicken dish ok so we take the this is something I did earlier I prepared some chicken breasts and cooked them ok we have four chicken breasts Pre-cooked. You can do it with pre-cooked chicken, um, or you could use like a whole chicken and cut it up. It really doesn't matter. Or you just leftover chicken. This is just easier. So you cook some breasts. And I have uh, four chicken breasts. I don't know. So we feed a family of between four to six, I think. Oh, I think so. Yes. So we've got the chicken breasts. So if we cut those into bite-sized pieces. Chicken out there. Oh, we have washed them. We have, we have, we have to be careful these days, in this day and age. Okay, so we're going to chop these into chunks, yep. yes, bite-sized pieces, okay. but you go ahead. Well, can I cut, cut two as well? Cut side. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, I'm allowed to do something. I think she might still be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bite-sized okay. pieces. Remember, mind your fingers, because those knives are quite sharp. Okay. Yes, Sharon. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we have a guest in our kitchen today. Um, he rather likes chicken, so uh, that's my dog. Mm -hmm. right. This is a really quick dish as well if you've got some... Oh, uh, your chunk's a bit larger than mine. If you're entertaining, it's just so simple to make. Vital ingredients to give it a spice. So, 
Welcome to my show. You always do. Why don't Welcome you? Welcome to my show. I'll wash my hands. Which show you, is it? Could you add a teaspoon of curry powder? Did you put the teaspoons out? Or not? No. I see they're not here. So I'll go get okay, them. So we add a teaspoon of oh, curry powder. Oh, don't, don't carry on without me, will you, please? Let's wait a moment. Okay. And then we, we either the add. All right, here we go. The teaspoons, right. As you can't read very well, there's the I have my glasses today, ready. You did, I think that's good, isn't it? Teaspoon, teaspoon of curry powder, a pinch of salt. Have you got the salt Wait, out? wait, wait, is it a teaspoon of curry powder? A teaspoon won't go in there. Could you do this? Okay. Well, it's not difficult. Really? Oh, it sounds, it's just, it sounds an odd combination, but believe me, this really works, this dish. So, I'm going to put wash my hands. Can you add a pinch of salt in there, please? Yes. We didn't prepare very well, did you? <laughs> we didn't get you into salt. Yeah. Yes, like that. Yes. Right. And then we add either a half a cup of curry dipping sauce or curry dipping sauce. Sorry, chili dipping chili sauce. Chili dipping sauce. Or oh. a quarter of cup of chili paste, which I want to trust my associate to do. We only need a quarter of a cup of this because this is oh, really strong. Okay, in all my system. Okay. Show. Not. I'll wash my show. hands. <laughs> I'll wash my hands. Okay, quarter cup of this, is that yes, right? Yes. Okay. And then you get a fork. This is a little more spicy. So this is very, it's quite a spicy. You can make a spicy or not spicy, whichever. This. I've actually got a spoon already. Okay, okay. then whip it all up. Just mix it up together. Okay. So we're going to stir it Just make sure all the ingredients are combined. Okay. okay. Yes. We like to make simple dishes because, you know, a lot of people don't like to cook. We like cooking, so... But this just looks so impressive when you put it out on the table in front of your friends and neighbours and family. It's just a very different kind of dish. If you'd like to spread that over the bananas and chicken now, please. Like now. Yeah, excuse nice. me, are we, are we taking over the show <laughs> now? I mean, what's going on here? I think... I've had to say good morning. I really have to spend lots of money this morning. morning. Just as I said, just as I said, evenly over the bananas. Am I doing this correctly? You are, just make sure that you're doing it evenly. Oh, evenly okay. is the key. Okay. You can do even. It looks like you've got a bit of much down the end. You just sort of spread it about so that it's more even. Finally, we get our nuts. Do you, you put those on before you cook it? Yes. Cashew nuts or pine nuts are the only nuts I've ever tried or in this dish. Peanuts, you can use. Peanuts. Probably what good with peanuts too. I think that's what my neighbours used actually. I think they use peanuts, but whatever nut you like, really. Maybe. You finished? Let me just spread this over here. Like this. Spread that over, and then grab a handful of nuts and sprinkle them on top before it goes in the oven. The oven is already set for 200 degrees. Yes. And it goes in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes because the chicken is already cooked, so it's really just a question of warming everything up. What about the bananas? They need to be cooked. Oh, really? Not really. They just well, they just doesn't take them long just to be warmed up, and then they go sort of uh, a lot softer. Oops. Okay. A lot softer consistency, so it only takes them about 15 minutes. Do you sprinkle the nuts? I won't bother then. You can have plenty of sprinkles in that too. <laughs> No, you have a go. Well, this is half a handful and another half a handful, so we'll do it together. Okay. About that. Right. This now, is, these are chopped nuts, actually, and they're cheaper than buying the whole ones. So if you just look around a little bit. There's no point having whole ones Maybe. on there. If you like nuts, you can just stick a few more than a handful on there, actually. Okay. Now, this I is, as I said, I like to them on as there. I said, this is going to go in the oven for about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes at 200 degrees. The oven is already on. I think that will do. So if you'd like to take it to the oven, or should I put it in the oven? I think maybe... And then finally, something. what temperature was that again? Uh, 200 degrees. 200 degrees. For about 15 now. to 20 minutes, because the chicken's already cooked, so there's nothing to cook. Really, it's just a question of warming it all up. 
and we'll have a drink. We'll have a drink. We'll come back and we'll do the final finishing touch, which is a uh, je ne sais quoi. Oh. That has to. Uh, what does je ne sais quoi mean? I don't know. It just seemed the right phrase for the time. I'm not very good with French. Mm -hmm. Not French. Mm -hmm. Okay. It just means it's the piece de resistance. That's better. That sounds better. Okay. My sayings and phrases. I'm gonna get that. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. De resistance. Mm -hmm. Okay. So anyway. We're going to just um, have a finish our drinks and we'll come back to you in a little while. In 20 minutes when the dish is ready. When the dish is ready. Mm -hmm. about this dish which we forgot to tell you um, the, um, where this the came from was the name um, Ove, O-V-E, Jacobson. Um, he was from Scandinavia and he was um, an air freight pilot and who was um, trying to find something to eat one day and had some odd ingredients and he just um, remembered the bacon from the spaghetti carbonara and he had some chicken and banana and he just kind of threw it together and hence the name Jacob's Flying Chicken after his own name. That's where, the, so that's where it came from. And you can serve it with rice. I would suggest probably rice yeah. would be good. And maybe a salad. Yeah, you could so there's rice, rice juice in there, some rice, rice salad. salad. Good. And that's what it looks like. I'm actually, my mouth is watering. Um, would you like to try a little? Uh, please. Maybe? Okay. That might be a good idea. Okay, we have a fork here. So yes. I'm just going to pinch a bit of chicken. I'm going to try some and then I'll try. A little nut there. Get a bit of banana. Maybe. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I think. That it's going to be quite hot for you. It's probably going to be quite hot. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to have a little nibble. Mm. I'll use, it doesn't matter. I'll use the same fork. We don't care. It sounds, sorry to speak my mouthful, but it just sounds such an odd combination. Let me but, try this. Mm. So good. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Very good. Mm. Okay. Well, I think that's it for the day. I think I'm going to do the big man. And have this for supper. And until the next time, I'm not sure what we're cooking. That's that thing. Maybe bruschetta. We, we, ah, we think that's nice. actually. It's bruschetta. Mm. Pronounced bruschetta. When we find yeah. history, we'll know. Mm. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, goodbye. Thank you. I'll see goodbye. you next time. Mm -hmm.